Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, children, monkeys of all ages. Welcome back to the circus and welcome to who knows what. So, two things were supposed to arrive today. One thing for me, one thing for somebody else. And I'm not sure which this is. So, <laughs> uh, I have a feeling this may end up being the unboxing video for this knife, uh, if this is the knife for me. So, I'm going to record it. If it's the one for somebody else, you will uh, not see this. Otherwise, here goes. So, Kaiser original. If this is mine, and it is okay. <laughs> so, welcome to an unboxing video. Ta da! <laughs> oh, you never really know what's going to happen around here, do you? That's what happens when you let monkeys run the show. So, what is in here? It's just a BB. Control poison. Don't eat. Throw away. Do not eat. So, yes, this is a Sabibi. Did it say on this box? I don't think. Oh, I think it did. Wabop. Chevalier. That's right. This is the Sabibi Chevalier. All the typical stuff, microfiber cloth, stickers, aluminum sticker, but most importantly, Hana, I love that they still have the pouch, man. So, here we go. This is the Civivi Chevalier. I got the wood variant, 14C 28N blade. It comes, looks like slightly off to the clip side not far look at that machining in there can we see it can you i tell you what let's go ahead and do the first flip wap -ap. nice fairly smooth for a first flip see all that machining in there that lattice work machining good look nice looking wood giggity nice very nice so, a little bit of lock stick, sounds like. Fully expected. Ooh. Yeah. So, I knew since I had the Onoris, which wandered off, <laughs> that I liked the wood scales from Sincut Civivi. So, same wood used on both. Leave that out. How about that? But this, you know it's a sheep's foot, so I'm going to dig that. And you know I like button locks, so <laughs> it was a given that this one was going to end up in the collection. So, what do I think? First impressions? Uh, nice. Fits in the hand really well. Flips easily. Has that slight bit of lock. Just lock stick, button stick, whatever you want to call it, but uh, it'll work out in time. It always does. I expect every button lock to have just a little bit. If it's too silly, that's a completely different story. But has reversible pocket clip, uh, not countersunk, but it is flathead screws, so should go in and out of the pocket just fine. We'll talk about that on the longer term review here in a few days. But yes, very nice. You can feel the weight of that blade. Let's, uh, let's look at the overall length. I assume it's going to be a pretty much exactly. You get you tend to get the same blade lengths and the same handle lengths because the CNC machine tends to pump out the same length. So you can change the, the design overall, but you're usually going to end up with the same length. Of handles and blades from the same makers so to give you an idea let's get this stuff out of here straighten some things up straighten up and fly right so whoop. get up in here 
So, as far as button locks go, large, medium, small. And actually, in terms of length, the Civivi is the same length as the Orion Solaris. So, uh, a bigger feeling knife, but overall length, roughly the same. Uh, a much smaller feeling knife. The Kaiser Original, the Civivi Chevalier, and the Orion Solaris. These three knives, uh, well, these two knives I already know. This one I can only assume is going to join the pack of knives that I will drive people nuts with. So, overall size of the push buttons, you saw the Civivi Chevalier and the Sincut Honoris are effectively the same length. Same, same. The Riffle. If you're a Civivi fan, I'll give you an idea. Both of these guys are a little bit bigger than the Chevalier. Let's go with the QSP Penguin. The rake a little longer. Penguin, a fair amount smaller. How about a pair of three? Tiny bit shorter in the handle, quite a bit shorter in the blade. Sage 5, get you a little bit closer. 6RK320, a little bit longer, not as much bigger than I thought it would be. There we go. That's a nice looking, nice looking couple of knives right there. Well, since we're going nice looking, let's uh, bust out the forest. So EMP EDC Nimble and the Mallory Designs Force. Man, the Force is spot on the same length. Small folder. You know what's coming. Right? Right? And let's bust out. Ha! The new one from Kev. Thank you, Kev. Ah, uh, let's swap these guys since that black is not showing up. There we go. That is what this would like in a rotation for me on any given day. Small folder, medium to large size folder, and a small fixed blade. Again, thanks, Kev. I will be back shortly in a blink of an eye for you to tell you what I think of this after carrying it for a couple days. How about that? Okay, let's let's just get along to the shark jumping on this one, kids. Um, it's only been about 12 hours. <laughs> In the interest of full disclosure, I haven't even torn down. I kind of scooted things around a little bit to give me more room. But um, I got excited about this knife because the blade shape, a button lock, one of my favorite steels. It came uncoated and with wood scales, so this one was kind of hitting on all cylinders as far as the aesthetics and materials and just, I mean, let's be honest, a sheep's foot button lock with a fuller opening made out of 14c 28n with wood scales um, i mean the only thing that'd be better is maybe some really high quality micarta but or some carbon fiber but at the same time amazing look at the grain on that wood man these are absolute it's like they they selected the wood for these scales this one is absolutely perfect. Gorgeous wood grain. Are you catching this? It's almost hydraulic in how it opens. This thing doesn't slam open, doesn't really slam shut. You, if you really try and rock it, it will bounce a bit on you. But, oh man, fidgety, just classy, I think. Still get a lot of knife. 
at the same time, um, my only issue, and it's a minor one, it's not centered and it's moving more towards the clip side as it breaks in. Not the first knife that's ever done that. Not a major problem. When this thing feels like it's more broken in, I will tune it and get that to where it's supposed to be, like I had to with this one. <laughs> like I had to with my Gen 1 Orion Solaris. So, nothing, nothing major at all <laughs> bad about this one to me. The feeling is sublime, it feels good in hand. Even the clip hits where I, I mean, it's just not a problem for me. Works great in all of the grips. Being a button lock, the pinch grip worries me a little bit because my thumb is partially on that button, but I can move forward and pinch grip the blade. It's wide enough I can do that here. So, opening packages and stuff like that, I usually pinch grip. So, yes, very much yes on this one for me, and it's the button lock works great, the flipper tab works great. The fuller works amazingly well. A little difficult on the thumb deploy for me, but uh, that's a matter of getting used to it. But I can five finger flick this fuller. So, want to flick with a pinky? Yep. Ring finger? Yep. Middle finger, of course. Index finger? Where is it? Mm. Get some. So, yeah, five finger flipper. Just, a, in my opinion, a great design as far as the aesthetics, as far as the flow of this knife. It, oh, love this knife just in the 12 hours or so that I've been handling it, breaking it in, really giving it a good work over as far as how much fidgeting it's gotten. And let me tell you, I love it. So, if you're looking for a button lock to add to your collection, Honestly, I don't think you could go wrong with either one of these, but if sheep's foot is your thing, 14C, 28N, just this aesthetic, yes, I highly, highly recommend this knife. Um, so far, we'll get the heavy use tests in later because this one is mine. This is not a pass around knife or a loaner. So this one will get the long-term treatment here in the circus, and I am excited about that. So... What else you want? It's a perfect size knife, about a three and a half inch blade. I think a little over seven overall. Let's get that wazoo stick right quick. So, yeah, right at three and a half inch blade, seven and three quarters inch long overall. Grippable area, wait for it. Grippable area is only about three and three quarters. So, even though you get a four inch handle, a little over four inch, four and a quarter inch handle. Uh, only about, th what we say, three and a half, three and three quarters of that is grippable. So, oh man, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm totally jumping the shark on this one, but that's because it's an amazing knife. And I want you to be able to get in on this if you want to. So, if you're looking for a really good knife, it is made in China by Savivi, which is a subsidiary of We Knife, and just really enjoying this knife. So, if you want to see what's happening, uh, come back for the long-term review, but for the short-term review, I didn't have to wait two days on this one. This is going to be an amazing knife, I think, and uh, I am very excited to have this one in hand. So, these two are actually probably going to spend a lot of time together in pocket for the next couple of weeks. That's the way it's going to go. And then we will throw in a small fixed blade to go with it, which now that I'm putting it out, I'm 100% sure I've shown you some comparisons and what this is going to look like in a rotation for me. So that's what I've got for you today, kids. Hopefully... <clears throat> If the sheep foot aesthetic speaks to you and you pick one of these up, let me know what you think of it because I am digging it so far. This, like I said, I get the feeling this is going to be 
a perfect addition to the collection. So, so Vivi, uh, it's like you heard me whispering all my favorite things in a knife out into the, the universe, and you kind of made most of them come to fruition here. I am excited about that. So, that's what I've got for you now on the Savivi Chevalier. If you pick one up, let me know. If you love it or you hate it, let me know. If something comes through on yours that I missed, please let me know. So I can include it in the long-term review of this. Well, I try to, to really screen a knife before I give you my opinion on it, but this one, after me messing with it and handing it off to a few friends last night, uh, see what they thought about it, they seem to love it too, fairly universally too. So until I see you again, and I do hope I see you again, stay well, be kind, do good, grab yourself a sheep's foot button lock, and let's talk about it. So this is Grumpy. I'm going to take my Chevalier and I'm going to go outside. See ya!